I agree, and then let me emphasize also because there was a little article on our local newspapers stating that I, I have forgotten the thought. And let me say that, that uh, my job is to look forward for the whole nation. And this, this is the beginning only of uh, many more tours that I will be doing in the South, because I do believe that the South has a huge, huge potential. And that... Uh, well, not only San Pedro. That you are right, not only San Pedro. San Pedro got its specialities, but we also have other adventures and other attractions that might be as great as, as the ones on the, on the islands. And like I always say, Belize has a complete package to offer. And then uh, let us take advantage of that. But definitely, sure, let me assure the Southern people that my heart is with them and that I will be around and you have the entire not South. The South. And it's not the forgotten. With this administration, I can guarantee that it will be coming uh, on board. And very shortly, I will be probably at the highest end of the, of the South. Okay, folks, I want you to stay tuned because we will take a break now. And when we come back, you will see what Sabrina Popovich and Minister Manuel Heredia are excited about today at this grand opening of Sir Thomas's uh, Tucan City in the city village, all right? And then we will hear from the other people, her people that have helped her to make this all possible. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. understand he's sick, but I still like to acknowledge Dr. Thomas Rothis. Um, in particular, Ms. Sabrina Popovich, owner and proprietor of this place. My good friend, um, Rosalind Staines, who is the open hockey talk show guest and staff. It is my great pleasure to be here today for the inaugural of the Casa Duende Wildlife Park and the opening of the St. Sar Thomas at Tucan City Resort. A few weeks ago, I was in the area for the inaugural of the nearby Sarpon Archaeological Park, and I took the opportunity to tour your outstanding resort. I was immediately impressed with the natural beauty of the resort and its surroundings. I was even more impressed with the obvious care and due diligence taken to develop a resort and wildlife park that illum illuminates the treasure of the flora and fauna of Belize rural area. Yes, and we can't forget Rosalie Staines here today. She is doing this live show, open pocky. Come up here, darling. Come on. Can we see her get up here? She commands troops from the rear. <laughs> and this is our dear Rosalie. We we have to thank her a lot for all this. We are very, very uh, privileged to come to City River. This is the first time we're doing a show in the South. And I tell you, I love this little area. Oh. And I love Walter. I love Louis. <laughs> I, I love Gretchen, Little Foot. Um, although she We don't me, like each other. Lila. <laughs> and of course, I met Sabina Popovich. Uh -oh. 
at the at the beauty parlor last December, and it was it was an, a, a connection immediately because I found out she's from California. She's a California girl like me. That's what I said and that's what I mean. That no good brother of Ocean never do anything like that. I no wine. But Uncle Benji from Bombay bring your favorite barbecue ribs with sarsaparilla sauce. He only make them cook that to try to entice me. I still no wine. And Aunt Melissa from Moscow they bring one roast pig where they lick. It really sound like they try saying you have to bribe me. I still no wine. Okay. I guess I better not even tell about the three cases of tropical brand never cousin Calbert from California they buy for the christening. Wait, wait, wait. You mean the fine and dandy tropical brandy? Girl, only take a cousin Calbert, yeah? Let's go. It's the grape that tells. Tropical brandy in four convenient sizes. A proud product of Traveler's Liquors. Paul and I have always been in the 
biological education business. Um, he started out, I met him. Uh, we went to various parts of the Caribbean, um, running student groups, uh, marine ecology programs, tropical ecology. We stumbled on to Belize back in 1979, actually, and started, you know, exploring the possibilities of settling here and or opening up a biological station, which we did. We opened up Possum Point Biological Station here in City River in 1986. Uh, and then developed we Team Marine Lab, which is about Puppy. nine miles offshore of City. Uh, River. And so the past 25 years, we've been catering to high school, college researchers um, wishing to study the tropical environments. Um, as we go up the river, you can see that it is still relatively undeveloped. Um, we have pristine forest, lowland tropical forest here. We're in uh, close proximity to the jaguar uh, is a preserve. And actually, Dangriga, Stan Creek area is the closest access to the Keys, uh, to the Barrier Reef, uh, as far as miles go. Um, going without saying, from the first time that we came here, the people in City River just welcomed us with open arms and we have felt at home here for all of those years. We have supported the schools here. We have a scholarship fund that sends the kids from here, City River, to high school. Yes. And we love it and we're here to stay. Well, you know, Mary, um, and we have to say kudos to our Minister of Tourism, Culture and Aviation. And he has experienced this over the last few weeks because he's been in this area. Mm -hmm. And Minister, I want to ask you, you passed through city before, but have you ever been on a tour like this up the river and experienced Tato do Ende, a wildlife park, listen to what Mary was saying, have you ever, it's different from yeah. some people. Oh, it is totally different. And it's the yeah. South, and, and you are like the first minister that has really put a lot of importance in this area, new area of tourism, yes. adventure and jungle tourism. I'm definitely, you are right, it is a totally different environment from the close proximity to the river in San Pedro. But again, I think that I am very fortunate that I was given the minister in prison because what I have managed to learn during my experience touring the different areas is something that probably I would have never imagined in my life. One year I would ever do. But uh, today in particular is very special because I can appreciate this tour on the river. I've heard about the river but I've never, this is the first time ever that that I come to this area. And uh, it has been such a wonderful experience, the hospitality of of the, the people that are around, which Belize is very famous for the hospitality of its people. But again, and I think that, uh, like I said uh, earlier in the morning, that uh, I will definitely invite more of my colleagues to appreciate what Belize has to offer. And, Minister, we are the guests of Alan Stewart, who's beautiful. I don't know what this is called, a pontoon, pontoon. A, a pontoon boat. A luxurious pontoon. Well, it's, it's fantastic with cocktails and with hors d'oeuvres. And, and I have to say, Alan Stewart's two can play. And as we are coming here, courtesy of Alan Stewart, Mary, Alan told me that you have a history of the City River. I don't know, a minister yeah, is very knowledgeable when it comes to tourism. I don't know anything about City River until I met Sabrina Popovich and I've learned so much over the last three weeks. 